Welcome in to a brand new Let's Play Humankind series where we're going to tackle a particular strategy that I'm very excited about. This happens to be my personal favorite way to play the game of Humankind. I'm calling it the Dutch Harbor Strat, or if you will, Dutch Cheese. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to execute on a strategy where we pick harbor civilizations every time we can, and then we're going to pick the Dutch and put down VOC warehouses that should rival any district in the game as far as gold production, and we should be able to do some pretty cool stuff with this strat. We'll see how it works out. We're going to try to cheese it as hard as possible. I'm going to try to maximally do this, and so we'll go over the advantages as we play of the harbor strat and why picking harbor-based cultures can be very powerful in the game of humankind. We'll jump into all of that as we jump in, but as we get going, just know we're going to be doing the game a little bit different this time. It's not going to follow kind of my standard operating procedure for a game because we're going to pretty hard hit on this harbor strat. As we get into the details of that, you'll kind of start to see why it's a little bit different from how you might typically play a game of humankind. My previous Let's Play series we didn't focus in on a strat at all. We just kind of tried to optimize all the things we were doing. And so if you want to catch that video, uh, I'll link to my original Let's Play down below in the description so you can check out that entire Let's Play series. This, this one is going to be geared specifically towards how do we optimize the harbor strategy. There are a couple different ways you could play the harbor strat. I'm going to go the gold route and pick the Dutch. You could do other things when you get to that era. But we're going to go with the route where we pick the Dutch. We'll talk about all that as we get into gameplay and actually do it. So I have set the map up, hopefully, to be optimal for this. I have all of the settings such that we should get as much coastal water as possible, because that's going to optimize our harbors. Uh, I've got our settings so that we've got, uh, hopefully, our own continent here. And we should have some nice jagged edges and randomness so that we can find some spots where we can stick four harbors, because that is the maximum amount of harbors that you can get. So here's how the strat's going to work. We're going to pick the Phoenicians in the first era. We're going to pick the Carthaginians in the second era. In the third era, you have opportunities. You could, I believe, this is where you could go with the Norse and get extra food, or you could go with the Swahili and get extra gold. We're playing this game for gold, so we're going to pick the Swahili. Then we're going to pick the Dutch and get those VOC warehouses down. And after that, there's no more harbor uh, cultures left. So probably the direction that we will go is into um, just gold-based things. Uh, and so we'll, we'll trend in that direction for the rest of the game. Uh, there's a particular one I have in mind of just before the contemporary, and then the contemporary usually end up going with the Chinese. Um, and so we'll see how all of that plays out. All of that, of course, is contingent on us getting there. We are playing on humankind difficulty, so we're going to be pushing ourselves with this strat, seeing if this strat will function on humankind difficulty. With that being said, let's jump in to the game. Let's play humankind with the harbor strategy. Here is the start. We've got our nomadic tribe, and we are ready to get going. You'll notice right off the bat, this is a start that I would like. Uh, I've got horses. I've got a river not too far away from me. This seems like a great spot for our opening city. The land looks pretty nice. We've got some options for some luxuries. We're already seeing more luxuries. It's looking good. So let's kick it off. I think we're going to go after the science first. Science always good. We'll trend up and grab some more people after Just that. because a culture died out now doesn't goal, mean it wasn't worthy of study. Our goal is going to be to explore our land as much as possible because what we want to do is we want to optimize our claims. We want to use our influence in a very strategic way. As we get influence, what we're going to want to do is maneuver our way through and place only outposts on places that are the most critical for us. So through the strat that we're doing, we have access to a total of four harbors. Carthaginians, Phoenicians, uh, Swahili, and the regular harbor. That's four harbors that we can get in total and each in each of our territories, right? But if we don't claim the territories and put our Phoenician uh, emblematic district in all of them to start with, then we will miss out on those and we're only going to be able to get three, right? Because once we move out of the 
era, out of the ancient era, we can't get our Phoenician emblematic district anymore. And so what we want to do is carefully claim where we can put four harbors around a VOC warehouse. So we're looking for four coastal waters around a land tile that we can put a VOC warehouse on. Okay, so that's what we're going to look for. And those are the claims that we're going to make outside of our original city. Our original city, I think, is going to be here. And we're going to look to claim any territories on the outskirts where we have four available harbor spots. If we have three available harbor spots, that's fine. We don't have to put a, our Phoenician emblematic district there. It's just not going to be necessary. Okay, uh, well, this is nice. There's a science uh -huh. here, so I'm going to go actually back for the science because science is very good. Um, and actually, I want to zoom out just a little just so I can see more. And then let's go back up after our food. There's another science, but I don't... That's... This is where you have to make a choice. Get the science, or do we go after the food? I think we're going to go after the food now. Let's grab food. Delicious. And there is a fight for Though us next today. time, it might be better if you watch it Actually, we can just take it. We can take it on this turn. Perfect. Manual battle. Uh, yeah, that's... Wait, that's not river, is it? What's that right there? It's a little blue thing. Oh, it's a shadow. <laughs> It's a shadow. Uh, we'll attack, we'll get attacked, we'll attack again, we'll attack and die. That's typically how these gear fights go. Get them. And now it'll attack and it'll die. Yeah, you take some damage, but you're gonna end up with five food and five influence, which is well worth it. Okay. Alright, now we can put our outpost down, and so we're gonna go, we're gonna go back, now we are gonna go back, and we are gonna go claim this territory. So let's maneuver our guys back. We wanna get that outpost down as quickly as possible. And I believe our spot is actually gonna be right on river here. I think that that's the spot I want. I think I want it to be the on river spot. 12 to start is really nice, but this, this spot, well, you know... Once we connect this, I think the 9-8 is going to be our better option. Because there's river that goes this way. And so once we connect this territory, we'll actually have optimal river placement there. And we can put either a... We can put a, an industry district here to benefit off of the... Or sorry, research quarter here to benefit off the horses. Or we can put a market quarter here to benefit off of the luxury. There's options here for us. Uh, let's see. Well, we're, gonna, we're just going to head in that direction, right? There's some extra science. Beauty. Two more science, actually. So we're struck with this first. Okay. That's where we have an interesting choice. Story in the Stars gets us either plus 20 on a hunting party, plus 20 influence, or ferocious. Now, I don't need the ferocious right now. The plus 20 on hunting party would actually be pretty slick because it would get us another unit running around. But, man, 20 influence is pretty potent because it gets us another... I think this... It's debatable whether the 20 on hunting party for the extra unit or the 20 influence is better. I think the influence is going to be what we're going to take because it'll allow us to put an extra outpost down faster in this uh, nomadic tribe era. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I think that's probably our best option. What's over there? Let's grab that. Then we're going to come down here. And now we have our choice to make. Okay. So, actually, because of the way this river is shaped, maybe the 12-8 is the choice. Let me think for a second. Yeah, because we're going to be able to get lots of other stuff around here, and we're actually going to need, I think, like, let's take the 12-8, because this river tile, yes, we're going to put, we're going to put a manufactory on that. I'm not even sure how much benefit that tile is going to end up to us. There's another river tile up here, but it's got the same problem. That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> the land is so rich that I don't know where to put my capital. Uh, so I think, let's just get it down. And I think we get it down here. Because we could have done this earlier, because we could have done it at five. We got distracted, but that's fine. Get it in. There's some food and some science, so now we've got a trajectory. Let's go grab the food really quick. That's going to get us an extra unit. We're going to send this unit out right away to go grab the science, and that will split them across the top. We've got our Knowledge Star already. That's a turn six move up if we wanted it. We don't want that quite yet. We want to put in another claim or two, and we can actually put in a claim right now with our 45, right? We have the ability, because it only costs 20 to put our next outpost in. 
we want to get our next outpost in. So what we need to do is we need to locate a an appropriate spot for a four harbor location. That's what we need to do. All right, what do we got here? Tribes Legacy. All right. So we could debate this all day long. Waddle and Dob is great. Plus one industry per pop. Plant lore is awesome. Plus one food per pop. Because we're not going to be very focused on science in this particular game, and I want to be able to keep up in science, I'm going to take plus one science per population on City or Outpost. And, and I think that storytellers... I think all of these are great, to be honest. I would argue that probably farmers and storytellers are the better of the two. But if you're not going to focus industry, this is a nice kind of baseline industry that gets you extra industry throughout the whole game. The extra food is obviously very nice per pop. I'm going to take storytellers in this particular game. I don't do this very often, but I think the early science will help us get out to our harbor faster. And we've got some different things that we want to do in that regard. So I'm going to go ahead and grab storytellers this time. And so we're going to start accumulating uh, that as science uh, a little bit more quickly than we normally would. All right, these guys are going to go grab this science. And then I believe I saw Coast up here. So let's go, let's go find out what's going on in that direction. We also want to look for animals to fight potentially as well. And we've got a river that I'm assuming might lead to coast in this direction as right. well. Okay, here's a fight we could take, though. I don't mind going after that. Remind me later. We can always go back if we need to. And I want to find out... So this looks like another inland. So that's fine, because we can. this has got great river... So we can make this maybe our capital or even, and then eventually we can attach the capital to this for the, the power of the river. But that's a nice inland spot. Might even be just another city. We might just do just another city here. If we make all of our cities inland, that would actually be optimal because we're gonna try to, okay, there's the first move up. That is a turn six move up to the Egyptians. Okay, there's another science there. So I'm not opposed to that. Let's do it. And another this food. Okay. That's a river food, so that could get us a population. Let's go. We move. Let's go grab it. There it is. All right. Now these guys can go back this way. Onwards. Now, if we find a mammoth, we might want to group them back up again. But now we've got three units that we can spread out and get looking at. We grab Onwards. this side as well. There's another fight we can take, which is nice. We'll mm -hmm. do that. Keep an eye on that for next turn. Let's take a fight. Manual battle. Uh, we can move over. Well, no, because we're attacking. They're not going to move over here. We don't want to give them access to that. Just keep everything. Fire be with us. Did not do a lot of damage to that, uh, that deer on that. Might not die in this attack. Ah, so standard deer fight. You know. And this guy's gonna go. I almost have to go south. We go south with this guy. You guys are gonna go. So maybe we have this guy take the fight. Maybe this guy goes and grabs this next turn. I want this guy to take this fight. I wanna force the deer onto bad ground. Does battery the play, I guess, does it? Standard deer fight. Attack, attack, get attacked. Nope. And then we're going to be looking for our pile to get this uh, outpost out. That's Seems to happen the same way every time. By building an outpost, the claiming Nubians territory, have been chosen, the is this easy. The trick, of course, is keeping it. Okay. Uh, we can get minus 25 on domestication research costs. Now, I like to take plant uh, a lot of the time because I do think that uh, this particular... Uh, <laughs> it's nice to get that, th that reduction in domestication research cost. You get access to your horses faster, which I happen to like. Uh, this plus two food on city or outpost is pretty potent. Uh, so I'm going to... We're going to grind... Um, and try to get some growth right off the bat. This particular thing. These guys, I know we're going to jump off river. Oh, these guys should really go take this fight, because I don't want these guys to fight again, because they're damaged. So maybe we switch the roles now. Switch the roles. This these way. guys are going to come go this way. These guys will come down and grab this. And... Yes. We're failing at claiming land. 
Oh, and of course there's food back there. Ha! All right. We move. I'll do it. I'm hoping we don't have to make a quick move up, because I want to get two more down. As soon as we get two more down, we can go, though, right? There's the Carolins and the Olmex. Okay. That deer is taken off, but we're just going to follow it. What's over there? Down the river. And we might... Oh, there's a sanctuary. Just go to attack it. We only need this deer and one more deer. I mean, if we could find a, a mammoth, that would be great. The mammoths gives you big uh, influence gains if you attack mammoths in the nomadic. So we want to be looking for mammoths as well. All right. Win. And now we'll come down. Okay. So let's start. Let's start looking for the coast in the this south. Way. Oh, there's a man. We don't want to fight that with just one unit. We're never going to do that. But two units, you can. All right. Let's find. Let's find coast. This is looking... So there's a three. So that's a three. So that's pretty nice. But it's not a force. So we don't have to make that claim yet. We also want to fight that deer if possible. Is it this way to fight the deer? Oh, the deer's going to come to us. Perfect. This way. For the tribe! Kill them! This is a lot of deer. I don't know if you run into this many deer in a game. I feel like this has been, uh, it's been a bounty of deer here. Which has been good for just getting, we're just getting that star, right? The objective is get that star. Get them. Got the star. Boom. There's the hunter star. All right. These guys, I guess, should go clear the sink. For our young. There's more food down there, so that's nice. And there it is. There is a gorgeous... This is actually exactly what we're looking for. Here is a gorgeous four harbor tile. One, two, three, four harbors. Our VOC warehouse goes there, and we get the option to place multiple... Behind it, we get the option to place multiple market quarters. This is a powerhouse... This is a powerhouse territory right here. The land is absolutely trash. Which is perfect, because we're just going to put districts down on it anyway. Um, so this is a gorgeous piece of land. So we're going to come down in probably right here. This spot, is yeah, this is a beautiful piece of land. So we're going to claim this. Once they're done with this, we'll come and claim this land. So there's our next claim. There's a four spot. Beautiful. Ah, this might even, no, can't be a four spot. But there's some, that's beautiful right there. So that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for four harbors, VOC warehouse. Beautiful, beautiful spot. All right, let's see. Other. Right. This way. And, and coast, hopefully. And look, at islands actually are really good for us as well. So we do want to keep an eye out for those. Mm -hmm. All right, let's explore down here a bit. We are watching, because in case the Phoenicians get taken, we actually have to go and just move up, which would not be optimal, obviously. I th Usually the Phoenicians get left, but we'll see. I, my, my argument is I can usually get to, like, turn 15, 16 at least before Phoenicians get taken, and then uh, sometimes, like, 20, I think. But it depends. We've actually... How many, how many move-ups have we had? One, two... Oh! Oh! There it is. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six move ups, and we're the seventh. Is there eight players in the game? I I test ran this several times, uh, in, on like just on random maps, just to see how quick the AI would move up and take Venetians. It never happened this quickly. So that's the same stuff. We just re-roll the game? That's way early. I don't know about that. Just go full restart? And I'll just play through fast? I don't know. Uh, 
like I said, I literally just playtested this so many times that never happened that way. Alright, well. Even those who have disappeared start, may have that's done something happen, very clever. Right? What's over there? It's looking very... Oh, wait, hold on. Don't, don't, don't enter. Oh, hold. Full bellies and healthy children. I see where this is going. This is resembling something I've seen before. We instant resolve these, and do the fights go the same? Fire with us. Question is, does it just happen again? If it just happens again, then we're just screwed, I guess. Didn't mind how the game was going. I liked what we were doing. Okay, we've got the 15, so we can go get the change we could make is we can go get this in real fast, right? I probably should have done that right off the bat this time. So we're headed for this spot. We can... And we'll take Destiny again. I think we got this down in an extra turn, right? We'll grab the food. That gives us a unit. Uh, we're gonna split the unit, go after the science. That unit will go north again. We'll see what happens with it. And this unit is gonna go. Let's do it. Fight that dude, right? Uh huh. We actually have enough to put down again, so we can actually we can actually beeline it for that territory, right? For the hard cheese, we can beeline it for that territory and just get that down, just in case we have to move up super early. There's the turn six Egyptians again, so that's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. There's our knowledge star. Where'd that guy go? Mm -hmm. Dear, where'd you go? They're no longer beelining that territory, which is a problem. Oh, what do we got? We'll take storytellers again. Uh, no. Later. We'll do. Like that here. Ah! Oh, come on. Onwards. Together. Gonna go down the hill At least for one round, we got a nice advantage there. It should result in an early win. Oh, not quite. Close! Close enough. It's not playing out exactly the same. I don't know where this deer went, but we gotta just jump in over here, right? We gotta go get that settle in. So let's. Deer's down there. This is the territory, right? This is the one we want. I think we just gotta go get that here. We get this fight in this turn. Okay, maybe we get this fight in this turn. Then we pop up. Here. Oh, interesting. The deer is gonna make us come across. Let's make the deer come to a bad place first. You come to the river, Mr. Deer. No, no, no. Deer fight. Please. Right, now we can move up and make that claim. You have built a first outpost, right, adding to... another territory to your empire. I know you're hoping right. this is the beginning of something very, very big. Right, we gotta get, we gotta try to get somewhere. We move. Can't, I can't pass it up. I have to do it. And then we gotta get up here and see if we can make a claim. One of these is probably decent. All right, this guy is gonna go make the claim, yeah. just in case we have to move up early again. Uh, so I think the spot is up here, right? This way. I think we have an opportunity to get there. Are we going to go here, or was it here? Let's jump on. We'll jump on river if we can see. I think it's here that we want. So that's going to be optimal. It's, we can also go here, but that's not going to be as good tiles, right? Okay. The Phoenicians get chosen here. I'll be curious. Nubians. 
Okay, Phoenicians is still available. Wait, who moved up? We don't, we don't know who moved up as what, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can put this down. Gotta put the 10 10 down right here. How close to found. If we got another deer, we can fight next turn. If we get the opportunity to do that. And we don't have the population star yet or the other one. It's not hugely ridiculous. I'd like to go get another claim in. If we can get another claim in, that would be optimal before and before we make the move up. So Jow Assyrians. Okay. So it does appear to be playing out differently. This way. Good for us, I guess. Got multiple deer to fight. Earth gives us strength. Let's get this star and then we can stop, maybe stop fighting here. Yeah! 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 Deer is gonna come up the because the deer is not smart. Can't do that. Together! Goodbye, we need well this is it. This is the last yeah! one. So there's our star. There's our 60. I believe that gets us our next flame. So now we just gotta find. Now we just need to find a four tile to claim. Moment of truth. No one moved up. Venetian's still available. Okay, this is going much better. This is going much better! Alright, let's go take care of this sanctuary. And we definitely need units as well, so. We move. Mind for this. This should this should get us coast. Okay, do we go north or do we go south? Let's go north. We're already connected to this territory. Let's go north, maybe. Oh, we got an extra. Actually, we go both. Split them. We go both ways. Find me a four. Okay, so this one is a no go. Ooh, that's looking interesting. Carolines. That see this and this time, this go around, Phoenicians are still available. So oh. I think we may have successfully cheesed it. We may have successfully cheesed it. Uh, and this is looking really appealing. All right, I, let's just prep for a claim here. That that's right there. Boom. That's gonna be absolutely beautiful, right? This way. Look at all the science around here. Uh, oh, the split. Yes. Onwards. The split, and we'll just go try to optimize everything. All right, these guys are north. These guys are gonna go yeah, north. Full. Oh, only three. Okay, so that's not an imperative claim. There's a deer over there we could go fight. Worthwhile. Uh huh. Wait. Okay, there's another. Okay, so now we have multiple potential claims. So let's check this one out. Let's see which one is... Yeah, okay, so that's beautiful as well. So there's a four. There's a four. So we can go a far north claim. This land is highly questionable, so... I wonder if this land looks any better. Oh, it's also, relatively speaking, questionable. I, there's a little bit more probably here. Let's... Turn this down. I don't think we're going to see anything. This border looks like it just goes right here. So our best bet is probably going to be somewhere right in here. That's going to be a weak outpost. This one also looks questionable, but we could put something like here. Get some decent yields, maybe. And then these guys are split. Let's see what this is. A world of flame. Uh, I would love to get an extra hunting party. And so we'll take that. And now we're going to go just split these guys and go look at all this science. Oh my gosh, we almost have to take all this. Look at this. What is happening right here? This way. We're going to go get that. We're going to go get this one down here. 
and yes, we're not. Oh no, we have to get it. We have to get one more deer kill. So we're, we are going to come up here and fight this deer. We want, we want that hunting star. Round, make him come to us. There's the star. So now we have all the stars. Okay, so now we can move up. We can move up as soon as we put in our next outpost. And look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Shouldn't there be a seventh player? Because we're the eighth, right? I think there's eight. I think I had the settings normalized, so I think that's true. All right, so we need to, we're just going to continue exploring then with these guys, if that's the case, right? So let's just send this unit south. Uh, we'll just jump on the river with them. And... Ah, there's the final one, Olmex. All right, so we now have... Perfect. Okay, so everyone has moved up. Phoenicians are still available, and so we can now do whatever we want in the Nomadic. So if we want to just keep on collecting stuff and exploring our island, we can... It's probably not optimal to stick around for too long, now that we've got all of our stars. Uh, but I don't mind collecting... There was another science back here, right? This way. We want to get our third outpost in, for sure. The next one becomes too costly, I think. That's food, but it's only going to be five food, so that's probably not worth it. And I do want to see, just in case there's something nice over here to put an outpost down on. So if we put an outpost in here now... We would put it here. It's a 6-6. Six, six. It's not great. Uh, 5 seven's probably... Meh. It's a 6... It would be putting in a 6-6. Six, six, the opportunity for other things. So let's hold. Let's go check down here really quick. We're putting in an outpost down here. We can grab a 6-8. So I think that's our better option. Right? Is it cheaper? Because it... Oh, no, wait. But this one is... No, it's not connected, so... Oh, it... Yeah, it's not. So either one is, is good. So let's just put this one down. Let's do this one. I'm going to put down this 6-8. But since we're walking there, let's walk there first, just in case we see something worth changing it to. Yeah, that's fine. There's our outpost. So now the key to me, to it, for me, the key in humankind for moving up is now to put an outpost in, you need 120 influence. Unless you're going to go battle every mammoth on the map, you're not going to get another, you're not going to get to 120 influence to put a fourth outpost down. So really three outposts, every star you can collect, and then you move up. That's typically what I go with. Unless you're trying to get like the Egyptians or the Nubians or one of the ones the AI picks like super fast, and then you're not going to do that, right? So I think... We just grab whatever's left here. Let me check my hunting parties really quick, just to see. Like, they have no food and nothing to go get. There's food here, but that's a, that's an offer of food. It's like five food, probably. That science might be nice to have. So we could wait, like, a single turn. These guys have no food. These guys have five food, so again, it's not going to matter. So we're not going to get another... We're not going to get another unit out of it, so we'd be this is just five science that we'd be trading if we didn't move up right now. I suppose we can go, we could go one more round. These guys maybe could collect some influence up here. Yeah, let's grab, let's go one more round. We could kill this deer. That's worth five influence. If we get this. It's also probably worth five influence or something around there, just to just to bolster bolster everybody up. And these guys can just keep moving south. Let's do it in little spurts in case we see something we want. This way. Sanctuary, but that's not going to change. That will stay, right? We go burn that down. So we'll, let's go one more turn. We'll play one more. Ah, of course the science is in the opposite direction. And of course we can't get to it. Unfortunate. Well, let's just go this way. This guy's going to collect the science. And then I... He doesn't need to go north. This guy... This guy can actually cut through the middle, probably, of the map. Oh, perfect. Science showed up right next to these guys. That's beautiful. And we should have taken the other attack spot.
We'll get five more out of this. We're, we're kind of nitpicking it now, right? Like, this is, uh... We're just, we're going after, like, five this and five that. But we have the ability to, because we're no longer pressured to move up. I like the Nomadic Era. I think it's fun, so I'll sit in it for a little while if I need to. Alright, uh, that science, I don't think they can... Can they get there in one turn? Oh, man, we're gonna be one off from another science. This is the problem now, is that I'm like, oh, I could just sit... I could just sit nomadic forever and just keep collecting stuff. Like, I'm not pressured by anybody. I could get what I want. We could technically get a fourth outpost down if we, like, keep rolling nomadic for, like, forever. But you also are not generating influence from your city, because you don't have, like, a capital. So you're not growing your city. So I think we're going to move up, because at the risk of just falling behind drastically, I don't think we're going to find enough science to keep our science progressing fast enough, and I don't think we're going to find enough... I mean, we'd be getting foods, we'd be getting units, but I just think, unless we're going to go and fight all the mammoths here, I think we just move up at this point. It's debatable, like, we've got three down, so three is fine. We make our capital city the middle one. So why are we going to make our capital city the middle one? This is where we get into the harbor strat. So here we have all of these territories on the outer edge are coastal territories. If they are not attached to a city, we can put harbors in, including emblematic districts. We can put those in using influence instead of having to build them or buy them. It is insanely cheap, the amount of influence you have to pay to put a harbor in to a territory that is not a city or attached to a city. So our goal is... This is a center tile. We don't have to put any harbors here. So this becomes our city. It's a beautiful land. Like, look, we got horses. We got not a lot of river in this particular one, but we've got options for luxury resources. It's going to be really nice. So we make this our... We make this our city. And then we don't have to attach any of these until we get to the Dutch, right? None of our coastal territories will attach into a city until we hit the Dutch, which is going to be really risky because we're not going to get any expansionist stars going all the way through to the era that the Dutch are in, which I believe is the early modern or something like that, is going to be, it's going to, I'm, I'm wondering how well this is going to work out because we're going to miss out on a lot of stars playing this way, but it's going to be interesting nonetheless. So there's our three claims. We could make a fourth up here because there is another four spot right there. Um, so we could stay in nomadic, but I think... I think we're just going to move up on this turn. I think that that's... We're not going to go after this science, because that's going to go away. So I think we just we just plot our way in this direction. Uh, could that be 10 food? It doesn't really matter. I can't get there either. So we just move. We just move along. We'll get our exploration done. We'll figure out where our next outpost needs to go, and we'll start saving up for harbors and whatnot as we go. This guy, this guy can explore this direction. We already have someone going south, so I guess this guy's just going to cut back north. Or, I guess, through the middle. I guess we'll send this guy and this guy through the middle. And then just get everything explored. That'll be the plan. I'm not going to grab that because it's not enough food. So let's just Do continue it. with our exploration. And I think we go and go ahead and choose the Phoenicians now. So here is our first harbor uh, culture. So Phoenicians are powerful nonetheless. Plus two money for traders on Cedar Outpost. So as soon as we can get boats in the water, which we can with Phoenicians. Why? Because the Barame, in the most recent update, the Barame got changed from a military boat to a, uh, to a, re uh, to, sorry, to a, from a naval ship to a, a transport boat. So now it's a transport ship. So now your units become the Barame. So now your scouts can get into the water super fast because you can get access to the, to, to the, so, cause that's actually what happens. Uh, sorry, that's because, um, on the Haven, Naval unit spawn allows units to embark without movement point cost, uh, which is fantastic. And uh, the, the Phoenicians get access to the Barame, and the Barame, because it's their unique unit, can get in the water. Normally, you can't get in the water until you research stuff up the tech tree in the next era. The Barame can get in the water in the ancient era. The only other civilization, the only other culture that can do that in the game is the Babylonians, because the Babylonians are science, and they can research up to the tech necessary to get in the water. So, the Phoenicians become very powerful because I can go out and get island claims very quickly and get my get exploration done very fast from the, from the water because the Barame is a very powerful unit because I can get scouts into the water, they turn into Barame's when they're there, and then you could get exploration done very quickly. So, Barame and the Phoenicians, very potent. 
uh, for exploration. We also get uh, naval combat at speed, uh, transport, and naval ship. So both the combat units and the transport units get plus speed and plus, uh, so plus movement and plus strength. We get our trader bonus, so we want to start trading. And we get the beautiful haven. It's a harbor, right? Uh, counts as a harbor, replaces the harbor. Uh, counts as a farmer's and market quarter, which is beautiful. And it gets us plus two money per adjacent coastal water, plus two money per adjacent lake, so whichever one you're placing it in. And it gets you a farmer slot and a trader slot. That's actually pretty potent because we're increasing our population cap right off the bat with the Haven. This is a really nice emblematic district. And as we use it throughout the game, you'll be able to see just how good it becomes. Here we go. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. We got the Phoenicians this time. Keeping up with it only took one reroll. Alright? The one reroll we got. Them. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Yeah. Yeah. Rumors and hearsay. How appropriate to start with the market, now that you will be leading the original traveling salesman. Exactly what we're going to do. Alright. My first city can be founded, so we're going to do that. Actually, that was a, was that a new pop-up, or is that... I feel like that looked a little different. Okay. So we have, uh, we do, we do still have curiosities, right, that we can find. Uh, but we are going to make this our first city. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right off the bat. Um, because we're not going to get access to, to these. I mean, we have to, form oh wait, do we have to form a new city? Doesn't look like they're requiring that anymore. Hold on. If they're not requiring me to form a new city, could I not research calendar really quickly? Get the artisan's quarter? If I... Hold on. Because if I do that and I don't make it a city, that's 11 turns of no growth. Okay, it's not, so that's not worth it. That's not worth it. And I think we actually gonna, we actually kind of want to beeline fishing, which seems weird. Well, let's go. We're going to go calendar first. So we're going to research calendar. Then we're going to go carpentry into fishing. I might even skip domestication for a little bit because uh, I want to get access to my havens as quickly as possible. I want havens down. I want baramays in the water as soon as I can. We'll have to see how quickly we end up accomplishing that. All right, so let's pay attention to what's going on around us now. We've got a couple things to do down here, so maybe these guys can come down in this direction, maybe pick that up, maybe even combine and fight this mammoth. It is worth gold to do that. We also have to be on the watch out for free peoples at this point too. We're paying attention to that as well. These guys are gonna do this, probably come back through. So I'm gonna send these guys just straight back through. All right, these guys are on coast. We're just gonna keep them on coast and keep exploration going. And, oh, we'll pop these guys off. That's beautiful. Now I have to go back on river to get the exploration done. This looks really intriguing. I wonder what this looks like and what opportunities it will provide us. Oh, wait, we didn't do our city. Oh. The fact that it's not requiring that is killing me now. All right, let's 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 make this our city. It is not just a bunch of buildings. It is warmth, protection, and, praise the gods, a bit of privacy. We're going to get our pottery barn in to get our influence generation kick-started here. And we're actually making some money because we didn't overextend our stay and get too much population to start with. Let's keep our movement relatively short and stuttered so that we can see... Yeah. Where we want to go. And this guy. Come down come over here. here. And we might come back and try to fight this mammoth. Is that what we're gonna do? Over this way. We combine units and get some decent fighting position. <laughs> we really want to fight mammoths. It's only worth gold now. That's the question mark, right? Of fighting mammoths in the in the ancient era. Like, is it really worth right risking your units we'll find out i guess follow me oh fascinating yes okay interesting actually we want to make this claim relatively soon right in fact our first claim is probably going to be this right here because that's another four we want to get all those claimed and in so this unit's probably going to do a little like we'll clear this as far as fog 
explore that and then pop back up here. We should have enough to put in our claim. It's not going to be a powerful spot, but that's our next four spot, right? So we have one. We have... We have one down here? Yeah, two. And then we have three. We have three perfect VOC warehouses so far in our territory. Right? Which is good. Oh, we can use our merchant ability to buy in resources. Should we do that? Should we buy in our own? How much does it cost? Though? Oh, we got to count. Of course. All right, so we grab... Oh, where did that mammoth go? Let's grab our curiosity. That's just going to be gold, so I don't particularly care for that. That's unfortunate. I think we just put these guys together on river now. If we're going to try to go fight that man. If we're going to try to find him, we just combine them. There we go. This guy's actually promoted already, which is kind of nice. Must have done enough fighting of the deer. So, what do we want to explore here? Got units over here that can kind of do stuff and split. So let's just start clearing fog in this direction. We'll just stay off river. Look at all the resources. This map is crazy. Okay, perfect. Off we go. Just gold again, that's fine. Lots of rivers now, though. Our capital might not have rivers, but we've got rivers. Come over here. And there's another four. Okay. Uh, I mean, any of them are going to be spendy. This land is much nicer, though. We need 239 influence to put this one in. It's so far away. Uh, I'm not opposed to doing that. The other option is, do we take a look at... Like, if this is an interior, if any of this is an interior thing, we could put a second city down in this direction and then get easier claims on anything out here. So I wonder if that's something we look into. Well, well these guys will come down through and we'll find out. Is a second city to make other adjacent claims easier? We have another perfect VOC spot right there, which is gorgeous. I think we just jump on this river, right? Off we go. Let's go. Yeah. Keep exploring this, clear all the fog. That This looks like it could be gorgeous. Something over here that's either a new continent or some islands. I want to pay attention to where islands could be because I'd like to get island claims in because those are, again, potential perfect VOC spots because islands oftentimes have those four harbor spots in them. So we do want to pay attention to that as well uh, for where, where we might be able to get additional harbor places. So see here, we can make this claim for only 89 which is, again, it's because it's attached to our capital. And so it would be really nice to get another city. That one's going to be spendy regardless of what we do. We're not going to attach these because we want to place all of our districts for cheap. And so it's going to be a... All of this is going to be a gamble that we can get the right amount of influence to be able to pull this off, right? Uh, okay, so we do want to claim this. We are going to want the plus five influence right away uh, because influence. Uh, Why so was this even that, like. a question? Let's keep it simple. We've and been then, here. Legitimacy, it's our uh, we want this on, and we're just going to spend this right away. So we're just going to go back, <laughs> right back again to the center. Uh, but we want we want fifty percent uh, minus outpost creation cost. That seems that will to leave a lot of strange. interpretation of right and wrong. Perfect. Let's do Not one more turn sure for this episode. Let's do one more turn for this episode. We'll get to turn. We'll play turn twenty here. I like getting, but getting through twenty turns, even though we had to do a restart, feels like it went very slow. But uh, let's see. Can we get up here? I'm not even sure. See what else we got in here. Some really interesting land. This looks like it might be landlocked as well. So that could be a city. Potentially to make some of this stuff cheaper. So we want to think about that as well. We'll just keep exploring over here. I'm not intent on putting this claim in. Alright. Immediately. Early claims are not super important for us now. Although they start building on each other, right? Okay, so we're looking for a mammoth. I have no idea where the mammoth went, unfortunately. More gold. All right, so we're laying on gold. That mammoth hunt is going to cost us. There's another... Okay, so this territory has two. Two perfect BOC spots. You can only use one of them. So that's unfortunate. Probably we use this one because we're probably going to put our outpost here. That's a really nice outpost. We should almost just put that in. We should go explore this just to be sure. 
But I think we probably gotta go put that in. Let's go get this cleared. We'll do. See what's in this fog over here, and then we'll just get these guys exploring in this direction. Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's it for episode one. We're off and running. We got the Phoenicians. Now we have to get to the Carthaginians uh, fastest, right? So that's going to be our next bit of things we have to do is, okay, in, in all of our... So all we have to do, all we have to do in the ancient era is anything we find that has a perfect VOC spot, right? So these four, with four harbor locations, anywhere where we can put a VOC surrounded by four harbors, we are going to get are beautiful and lovely uh what are they called again uh these guys the havens we're gonna get our havens in there so we want to get havens down in anywhere where there's a perfect spot we don't have to get havens in anywhere else necessarily okay so we want to focus real hard on getting claims in on all of the spots that have the perfects because we want to get havens there because if we don't we're not going to be optimizing our voc warehouses there Everywhere that has just a three, like, like these spots right here where it's just three that we can put on, that we don't have to put a haven in. Now, is a haven better than a normal harbor? Yes, obviously. So if we could, we would. But we don't have to, we don't have to put those ones in because we can still get the VOC full surrounded by the Carthaginian uh, Kothan, the Swahili Bandari, uh, and then the regular harbor, right? So our other three harbors that we're going for. So all of that will end up working out for us on those threes but what for all the fours we find any four spot any four harbor spot we gotta get we gotta get the havens in on those before we move up but we may end up moving up early because we don't want to lose the carthaginians obviously because that's the central part of the strategy so this is a good start i like what i'm seeing the land is really nice our capital is it's good land it's okay there's not a lot of river there uh, so we might end up having to actually connect, I think, this territory to our capital maybe a little bit early just to boost up our capital's uh, food and production rate a little bit. But I think we'll be fine for the time being, and then we'll get those claims out, and we'll continue it. Fantastic. Hey, thank you for joining me for this first episode of our brand new Let's Play Humankind series featuring the Harbor Strategy. I hope that you'll enjoy this strategy. I hope you'll enjoy the gameplay as we go through. As you can see, this is going to be a little bit different from our previous series. It's not going to be as over-explained. I'm going to try to move through a little bit quicker and not necessarily talk through each little thing that's happening in the game. So if you want that type of over-explained, I've got my previous series. Again, link is in the description below, so you can check out my previous series that, that really is kind of an over-explained style humankind game. This one's going to focus on this strategy. I'm very excited about this. I'm liking this land. I think it's going to be really cool. If you like the content make sure you hit that thumbs up button and like the video uh make sure you're subscribed so that you can see when i uh, put out my next video uh every sunday is when i typically release these so next sunday we'll continue this playthrough thank you all for being here and i'll see you next week